Good morning from Tokyo, where I have all day here before my flight back home at approximately 7 p.m. First task of the day, find a coffee. And I have all of Tokyo to choose from. I came back to the observation deck cafe. It is really hard to do this space justice on camera. It's massive, you have great views, and especially this morning with the sun shining, it's a wonderful place to be. But now it's time to navigate Tokyo public transit to head into the city. I made it. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. Exploring a little bit around Tokyo now, and I guess I should have brought my climbing shoes. Ended up just coming upon this cafe that looks good, so let's check it out. Successfully caffeinated, it's now time for lunch. After a great sushi lunch, it's time to make my way to the airport. Coming up here on the International Departures area, but I also see that there is a sign for an observation deck. So let's go check it out and see how it compares to Haneda's. It's a little bit smaller and a little bit less to see, but overall still lovely to be able to get some fresh air and take a look at the planes. But I better head through security Made it to the ANA lounge and quickly managed to get a shower spot despite how busy it seems to be. And it's certainly a lot nicer than San Francisco. That was a wonderful shower. Now time to relax a bit before the flight.
That was a nice visit to the ANA lounge. Now, time to check out the United Club. Hello from the United Club here at Narita Terminal 1. Came here after first checking out the ANA lounge, which generally seems to have the better reputation between these two Star Alliance airlines. But the ANA lounge was absolutely packed, and surprisingly, I must have just timed it perfectly. The United Club here is empty enough that I can try to vlog a little bit. Um, the food's decent, lots of space. It's still got pretty good views here, except that the sun has set but definitely a good place to check out, though no showers, so glad I went to the a, a lounge for that. Gonna enjoy a bit more food, and then get ready for the flight, which according to the anti-jet lag app, I should sleep for the first three hours of, and then stay up from about 10 p.m. body clock time. We'll see how that goes. On the flight, I took a quick nap and then stayed awake by editing videos and listening to podcasts. And when I landed in Montreal, I came right to the lounge to relax a little bit before my last flight of this trip back home. And that is where this video will end. Thanks for watching.